ground, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, look for an IFR to Big Bear. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Santa Monica ground, stand by just a second, I'll call you right back. So there's a ton of rich history here at Santa Monica. Uh, it's the home of Douglas Aircraft, everything from the DC-3 to like the DC-10. Got all kinds of records and firsts, just a, a ton of really rich history here at the airport. Um, this is the Museum of Flying, which used to, this used to be on airport property, now it's kind of just outside of this little airport park over here. Joshua Fresh, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompa, 10,000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pompa, Josh Approach, the Palmdale Altimeter, 2908. Just curious, uh, what's the route of flight that they gave you to John Wayne today? Last year, after a you know, 30 year legal battle between the city and, and the FAA, uh, the FAA agreed to let them shorten the runway in exchange for keeping the airport open until at least 2028. So uh, this December, they shut down the airport for a week, shortened the runway from 5,000 feet to 3,500 feet, trying to get these jets out and reduce noise. Of course, now if you're taking off, starting your takeoff roll closer to the departure end of the runway, it's always going to be louder. Uh, so that doesn't make any sense. They're just purely trying to, to keep people out and you know, discriminate based on aircraft type, things like that. But instead what's happened is people are just flying different airplanes in here. So there's even more traffic. Uh, you know, noise, of course, is up because the runway is shorter. And so, uh, you know, it's, there's just, it's, it's such a silly situation. Bonanza 7, Hotel Papa. It's a full route clearance to Big Bear. And you're cleared to Big Bear Airport via, on departure, fly runway heading at the Los Angeles 315 radial. At that radial, turn right heading 250. Radar vectors, Santa Monica VOR. Outbound, Santa Monica 125 degree radial. Victor 64, Seal Beach. Victor 8, Paradise. Victor 442, Apples Entertainment. Terrain system Delta test, Alpha, okay. Papa, Lima, Echo, Sierra. Victor 386, Sagi Intersection, spelled Sierra Oscar Golf Golf India, direct. Maintain 3,000, expect 1 1,000, five minutes after departure. SoCal departure frequency 125.2, squawk 4631. But it's so important to just recognize the value in places like this and how much goes on here. So much of aviation and so much of our country depends on small airports like Santa Monica. They do 90,000 aircraft operations a year here. If you took that and split it up amongst airports in this area, they would be completely overloaded. They already are. If you built a park here or a shopping mall or whatever, you'd bring in, you know, probably 100,000 more cars that the roads around here can't handle. So there's a really a lot riding on this airport being right here where it is. Um, it's vital for those reasons, for transportation, uh, for the, for, you know, for economic reasons, for businesses to be able to come here and, and do business. And so it's important for uh, just wider infrastructure purposes. It's part of the city of Santa Monica's all hazards mitigation plan. So if there's a disaster, some sort of natural disaster, this is a key piece of infrastructure they need to deal with that. Uh, you know, when there are forest fires, airports like this turn into you know firefighting hubs where aircraft are made. golf course where Harrison Ford landed. Course is centered there. Okay, we're in the right turn, 250. Ooh. Beach. Got the beach just poking Very out early. down there. Sun poking through out here. Remember, Southern Hotel Poppy, you're cleared to Orange County now via heading 240 to join Victor 363. That is the Pomona 164 radio southbound. On Victor 363, you're going to join Victor 8. Victor 8, still beach direct. Okay, uh, 240 joint Victor, 363 Victor 8, Seal Beach Direct, 79 Tell Papa. Hey, permanent. Okay, so, got a bunch of traffic buzzing around out here. And we're just kind of jumping all over the place. We started over, started off over here in Santa Monica, went down this way, up this way, now we're going up this way and over, kind of around there. Because there are some mountains here, so basically this kind of sets us up for the approach if we look at the uh, sectional.
Airport's 30 miles away on this route. It's 70 miles away. Whoa. Give me a fun approach. We might actually go missed. Could happen. If we go missed here, let's just go to Hawthorne. And sure. We get you have the fuel to get there. to Hawthorne? Yeah. If we go missed here, why don't we just go to John Wayne and eat there? Because they don't have a fun airport restaurant there. I guess the, you know, the biggest reason they want to close this is uh, six of the seven uh, city council members, the ones who want to close the airport, live right next to the airport. So if they close the airport, their housing, uh, their, you know, their property values just skyrocket, and this land is probably worth a couple billion dollars. So the city says they're going to build a park. Uh, from what we've heard, it's, it sounds like it's pretty much physically impossible to build a park here because it's such a large space, uh, and water is, is so uh, scarce here in Southern California. And of course, you can see right over there, there used to be hangars and parking, and now it's a park. It's a fenced-in little slab of concrete where no one goes. And uh, I guess one of the big things was, somebody pointed out that uh, when you follow the noise abatement procedures, taking off the runway 21, which most pilots do, you basically barely touch the city of Santa Monica. You're mostly flying over L.A. And the other thing is, downtown L.A. is right over there. Uh, so it's perfect for people to fly in go there. If instead they have to fly into LAX or Hawthorne or Van Nuys or any number of the, the airports around here, the, the traffic is just going to be even more saturated than it already is. This is the busiest airspace in the world, so if you take this piece of the puzzle out, the whole thing just goes to hell. Okay, so we can go down to 8,000, the minimums are 8,140 feet. Hollywood, one arrival. Southwest 66, Three 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 turning uh, southwest 66. Number 367 Hotel Papa, cross Bridget, at or above 10,000, cleared Arnav approach, Big Bear City Airport. Bridget, at or above 10,000, cleared Arnav approach, send a big city, 7 Hotel Papa. Big Bear, Big Bear City, whatever it's called. Like, it sound like you said big. Okay, so we got an 8,140 right now, we got a 24 Actually, now that we're like inside Bridget, we can go to the Number 367 Hotel Papa, report, cancellation, radio. Okay, we'll plan on uh, canceling the ground with uh, radio 7 and 7 Hotel Papa, frequency uh, change to advisory, frequency to approve. 7 and 5. Okay. Here. LA Center, American 1, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, so this is the heart of aviation for people learning to fly at these vibrant flight schools here that are you know, staying plenty busy even though uh, the city throws everything they possibly can at them to get rid of them. You know, they're, they're doing great. This is where people learn to fly. This is how aviation thrives. This is where aviation comes from, is places like this, where people can come to the airport, sit over there with their kids and watch planes take off and land, learn to fly and you know, travel around this area where there are just tons and tons of airports everywhere avoid, you know, the crazy traffic conditions on the roads, and, uh, you know, conduct business, help uh, people who need to get places for medical treatments and organ transplants, uh, for firefighting, there's all sorts of things. It's so valuable. There's so much here, and uh, it would be so sad to see it go. So we got to keep fighting, and uh, now we're going to hop the plane. We're going to go over to Big Bear, uh, which is this little kind of airport in the mountains. We grab dinner there. And this is only authorized up to category B, so we can only do uh, 120 knots on this, which shouldn't really be a problem. And the mist will be straight ahead 8800, climbing right turn 11,000 to hold at Bridget. Okay. Into the soup we go. There's the glide slope. There's the approach. Throw on the first notch of flaps, gears down. Now we're coming down. So this is LP plus V, so there's, it's really only a localizer precision, but there is uh, vertical guidance from the GPS. So we can't really follow that, we just need to make sure that we are 8700 at Halvey, and we don't go below that. And uh, this is really just for convenience. And we go down to 8140, so uh, we're only 1100 feet above minimum. Okay, so there's 8700 Halvey. Now we can continue down to 8140. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in 11,000 for the mist. Put straight ahead to 8800 on the mist. So we can go down another uh, 400 feet. Now we got to see the airport. Just wait there. Ah. And uh, here. There we go. Where is the airport? Oh, it's here. Oh, it's oh yeah, there. there we go. No, it's straight ahead. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Got yeah. It. So we got the airport. It's way out there. Minimums. 
Minimum. That's pretty with the light reflecting off the the lake. Yeah, that thing. Hotel Santa Rita Anza 367 Hotel Papa. Santa Rita 367 Hotel Papa, go ahead. Yeah, 367 Hotel Papa, we'll go ahead and cancel IFR. Santa Rita 367 Hotel Papa, IFR cancellation to receive. Have a good day, thank you. Santa Rita, see you. Is somebody going for a going for a flight? What is that? Density altitude readout over here, just like tell your eyes. 7450. Okay, so we just landed here in Big Bear City. We've got Big Bear Lake right over there. Um, it's a pretty awesome little airport. There's tons of epic scenery. Like, it's such a big change from where we just came from in uh, Santa Monica like a half hour ago. And some fun weather today. Shot the approach almost just to minimums at 1400 feet. And then we're gonna go check out the restaurant here. Before iPhones, you had one of these in the cockpit, and that was how you would figure out like you know, wind and how long it would take you to get somewhere, and you know what angle to, to fly to correct for wind, wind and stuff like that. Now you can do all this in foreflight, but you used to just have to to carry one of these things around. It's a lot harder to fit in your pocket. Should be straight ahead to 3,000 on the uh, one nine or six course. So we're gonna spend the night in. in uh, we're going to Santa Ana, John Wayne. We're spend the night there, and then tomorrow uh, we're gonna go to Camarillo for lunch, one of my favorite airport restaurant in the whole world. But at 7 Hotel Baba, 5 and a half miles. So I'm going to turn right, heading 165, maintain 3000 for the Southern Spokalizer, clear to ILS approach. 165, 3000 until established, clear to ILS approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Baba. Okay, so we have the heading, we're clear for the approach, we'll activate approach mode, so that's armed, and we're in heading, staying at 3000 until uh, we intercept the glide slope. And Mist would also be straight ahead to 3000, so we don't have to touch that. That's kind of nice. John Wayne Tower, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, just outside Lemon. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, John Wayne Tower. Caution, we turn one's falling in Airbus, runway 20 right, clear the land. 20 right, clear the land, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. So we're about seven miles in trail, so that shouldn't really be a factor. Two minutes behind him. Okay, there's the glide slope. We'll go ahead and throw the gear down first not to flaps. And the approach is coupled. Last reported was uh, scattered 1400. You should be able to see it now. Uh, I think it's just behind one of those clouds. Yeah, this is a pretty cool view coming into LA. With all these clouds here. Watch all the traffic. I can see the pappy. Yeah, I see the runway. Just, just to the right of that uh, cloud up there. Well, it's like through it. Yeah. You say go to ground, American 1867. see the runway there. American 1867, never run. Turn left and contact ground. Yeah. But... Yeah, uh, that wasn't even bad. Okay, cool. It's about a, a three and a half mile final. Here's three green, speed's good, approach path's good. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. Props full forward. Mixture's good. Yep, 
Issues like Santa Monica are one of the main reasons I started making these videos. I just think it's incredibly important that we save every airport we can and get every person flying that we possibly can. And of course, none of this would be possible without the support of patrons and sponsors. I'm especially excited to have Bose on board. The A20 has been my favorite headset for a while now. They've got some awesome headsets and a great team behind them. If you like this, please leave a comment, hit like, subscribe, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.